hello everyone in this session we will discuss this problem so here the problem is he given open loop transfer function that is k into s square 2s plus 2 by s square minus 3s plus 2 this is the open loop transfer function okay and he given a and given the system input output and the feedback here the problem is for closed loop system shown the root locus for 0 less than k less than infinity okay this is shown for gain is up to infinite between 0 and infinite intersect the imaginary axis at k equal 1.5 it will touch the gain at that particular the gain value is 1.5 the closed loop system stable for k is greater than 1.5 0 less than k less than 1.5 0 less than k greater than 1.5 not positive values of the k this is the given system actually okay here here so we should look at here first any system we, we need to analyze the any system stability by the poles only so here the solution the poles is uh, we can write the characteristic equation that is s square minus 3s plus 2 equals to 0 and from this we will get the two poles s square minus 2s minus s plus 2 is equals to 0 if you common s s minus 2 if you common minus 1 that is the s minus 2 so s minus 2 and s minus 1 are the two poles so we have two poles poles are we are getting s equal 2 is one pole and s equal 1 is also the one pole okay next and uh, now we need to analyze the zeros so for the zeros we have s square plus 2s plus 2 is equals to 0 from this uh, we can find by using the this is the second order equation we can get two, po two poles those are minus 1 plus or minus j minus 1 plus or minus j we will get the zeros are 2 by solving the second order equation generally we will get s is like this so zeros are we can write zeros are the one zero is minus 1 plus j the another one is minus 1 minus j we are getting two zeros so from this we will write we will draw the s plane we will draw the s plane so i will draw very shortcut here yeah here we have s equal to and s equal one so i will this is the zero i take this is the one one is the one pole s equal one and we have the another pole that is s equal to two so two poles are in right hand side and we have two zeros minus one plus j so this is the minus 1 plus j is 1 0 this is the minus 1 plus j is the 1 0 and another 0 is minus 1 minus j this is the another 0 so generally so these two poles whenever the two poles like this 0 is like this so it will follow the root locus path is like this so the path is like this that means the poles is going like this manner okay so it will reach this zero and it will reach the zero right same it is also having the same root locus path the root locus path is it will reach the zero okay it will reach the zero yeah so we have two poles that will reach the zero and he mentioned at imaginary axis that, that means at this point this value k equal to 1.5 okay k equal to 1.5 so if you clearly observe here if you clearly observe here initially it is k value is 0 for the pole here also k value is 0 and both will reach to the 1.5 at this particular point here is 1.5 here is 1.5 after the 
it will become it will become it will enter into the left hand side up to this it is in right hand side after this it will enter into the left hand side whenever the poles are root locus available left hand side automatically system will be the stable so by by using this we can write some statements here system is stable for k value is greater than 1.5 look at here because up to this point it is 1.5 it is here at 0 here at 0 both will reach imaginary axis at 1.5 and system is marginally stable for it will reach at 1.5 and system is unstable unstable for 0 less than k less than 1.5 because so between these two points it is only left hand side here it will become marginally stable after that it will become stable system so directly you never decide by looking at the poles and negatives just you have to work out on it then you will clearly understand because stability is varying this point to this point varying and this point to this point is varying okay that's why that's why we have to use this problem like this okay next we will discuss the another problem the problem is the open loop transfer function of unity feedback system is given by g of s equal k by s square plus 5s plus 5 the value of the k at break point of root locus plot is so now he is asking to find out the k value here so for the purpose so just take it the given open loop transfer function g of s equal to k by s square 5s plus 5 okay so he is asking to find out the value of the k at break point what is the break point at break point the poles will uh, at break point only poles will be out from the out from the the negative real axis okay so what we need to do here so for that purpose first we form the the first step is we should form the characteristic equation what is characteristic in one place g of s and h of s is equals to zero so from this g of s is k by s square plus 5s plus 5 h of s is you know that this is the one so by modifying this s square plus 5s plus 5 plus k equals to zero from this we have to write in the form of in the form of k we should write in the form of k so we will find out i will write in the form of k function i will write k function is minus s square plus 5s plus 5 is equals to 0 so now what is the condition to get break point we should do differentiate with respect to s and equate to 0 then by doing the differentiation we get minus 2s plus 5 is equals to 0 because minus s square will get the 2s 5s get the 5 and equal to 0 from this we will write so 2s plus 5 is equals to 0 from this i will write i will find out s value is the 2.5 s value is the 2.5 okay not 2.5 it is a minus 2.5 because here 2s equal to minus 5 and from this s equal to minus 5 by 2 then s equal to minus 2.5 okay so now what is the condition we need to find out the k value we need to find out the k value so okay so we are getting finally like this but here he mentioned for any root locus if some point is on some pole or some s value is on the root locus automatically we have two conditions the first condition root at any point 
if at any point so i will write the conditions here for any root locus so for any root locus yeah two conditions are required two conditions are required first is any point in the magnitude is must be 1 and the angle is must and should be 180 any point in root locus you can take but we are having some root locus point s equal to 2.5 so minus 2.5 is there so now we will write this s equal 2.5 is we will find out the magnitude that s equal 2.5 is we should write here so the this is s square k by s square plus 5s plus 5 at s equal to minus 2.5 if we find out this magnitude value that will be the 1 so now we will substitute this s value in this equation so from that k by minus 2.5 square plus 5 into minus 2.5 plus 5 is equal to 1 so we will solve this we will get we will get some k value so 2.5 2.5 square and we will get 6.25 5 into 2.5 means minus so minus we are getting some minus value that is minus uh, I think 12.5 minus 5 2.5 means minus 12.5 plus 5 is equals to 0 and this is the magnitude and if you solve this finally you will get k value is 1.25 k value is 1.25 okay here the problem is Look at first problem, he given open loop transfer function and breakaway point. What is the value at the breakaway point? Breakaway point means must and should be in the root locus that breakaway point. And by using the concept root locus concept for, for any root locus, if any point is available, that should satisfy magnitude equal to 1 and the phase equal to plus or minus 180. By using the concept, I will equate the magnitude equal to 1 then the k values become the 1.25 okay so this is the another important problem okay so these are the one of the important problems regarding the root locus okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you